Hi everyone, today I'm going to be walking you through how I set up my UI, as well as highlighting some of my must-have add-ons for playing World of Warcraft. Be sure to check the timestamps in this video if you're looking for something specific, and if you'd like a full list of the add-ons I use, including an explanation of their functions, as well as CurseForge links for each of them, I have a Google Sheets link in the description below for you. Of course, the way you set up your UI is going to be personal to you, but I hope that by showing you how I go about setting up my own, you can at least learn a thing or two or gain some inspiration for yours. Here is what my UI looks like without any add-ons enabled. This works great for me as a baseline to work with, and the main changes I have made are moving my player, target, and focus target frames to a more central position on my UI so I can see them more easily, and secondly, reconfiguring my action bar so that they are smaller and kept together in one solid block. Now, the amount of action bars you will need will vary based on your class and spec, so what works for me might be too many or not enough for you. Just play around and see what works. The main piece of advice for action bars is to keep them well out of the way and maybe even reduce their size slightly, as they can otherwise take up a large portion of your UI unnecessarily. You'll also notice I have another action bar in the bottom right which I call my tool shelf. This essentially houses items and abilities that aren't part of my rotation, but are still good to have to hand, such as buffs, consumables like food, files, runes, and water if I'm playing a healer, a mailbox toy to access mail more efficiently from anywhere in the world, as well as a handful of mounts. This is obviously not a necessary part of your UI, but it saves me lots of time rummaging in my bags or in my collection journal looking for things, and it's nice and out of the way. I have also configured my party and raid frames to make them more visible and accessible. To get your party or raid frames to look like this, select the frames in edit mode and select use raid style party frames. You can also resize these to your liking, just bear in mind how large they are compared to how many people you usually group with. The more players in your group, the smaller you'll want these frames to be so that they don't consume your UI. Then, in the options menu, select display class colors. This is a personal preference as the default frames will all show as bright green. I just prefer to have some color differentiation and this can help me more easily identify someone in amongst all the frames. As you can see, my UI without any add-ons appears pretty clear and keeps all the important information centralized, while leaving space for me to see my character and important things happening around me. However, there are pitfalls in the default UI that can be improved upon with add-ons, such as nameplates and unit frames. So now I want to walk you through some of my most recommended add-ons for various types of content. I won't go through absolutely everything, but if you'd like to see a full list of all of my add-ons with download links, be sure to check the Google Sheet link down below. The first set of add-ons we're going to look at are all responsible for adapting my UI, and the first one is Weakoris. Weakoris is an add-on that allows you to create or import additional UI information, such as class Weakoris that house all of your abilities and resources in a nice grid formation, meaning you don't have to rely on watching your action bars to check for cooldowns and so on. You can import Weakora strings from the Weakora website linked in the description below, or you can copy them from friends or other players, or even make your own. Class Weakoras are usually the most popular choice among players, but you can find Weakoras for all sorts of things. I have one called Ultimate Mouse Cursor that gives my cursor a new graphic that displays cast times and the GCD with two clockwise and anti-clockwise dials, but I mostly like it for helping me keep track of my cursor in busy environments. You can have Weakoras that remind you to do things like rebuff, to not release spirit if you die in a raid and you're about to get rezzed, you name it, you can probably find a weak aura for it. Every weak aura can also be heavily customized to your liking. You can add conditions that can contain sound alerts or visual effects based on the criteria you input, which I like to use for proc-based abilities so I can hear an audio cue to alert me during combat. As I mentioned earlier, default Blizzard nameplates are not very optimal. Even after changing some settings, they are still quite small and don't display information very clearly. So I use KUI nameplates to give a new look and feel to these, and they are much more customizable. I prefer enemy health bars to be fairly large for the sake of targeting and keeping track of dots. Many players also enjoy Plater, which is another add-on that serves the same purposes as KUI, so feel free to try them both and see which one you prefer. Similarly to nameplates, I prefer to use an add-on to overhaul my player, target, and focus target unit frames. For this, I use shadowed unit frames. 
As you can see, it displays my health and resources clearly in a large unit frame that is fully customizable. And I like that they align nicely with my weak aura to create a symmetrical look to my UI. Having my unit frame in this solid rectangular shape also allows me to place weak aura indicators around it, as you can see, whereas the default unit frame is small and oddly shaped, making it difficult to pin things around it neatly. Moving on to raiding, and similarly for Mythic Plus, I use Deadly Boss Mods, or DBM, to provide timers and alerts during encounters. A similar add-on is Big Wigs for raid and Little Wigs for dungeons, but they all work great and serve the same purpose. There are also a couple of really handy Mythic Plus specific add-ons that I use, including Angry Keystones, which enhances the information you see during your Mythic Plus runs, such as a more in-depth timer that has thresholds on it to show you how long is left to three chest or two chest your key, as well as a death log. LFG Quick Sign Up is another Mythic Plus add-on that I use that can be expanded into the entire LFG tool, as it allows you to automatically sign up for groups by double clicking on the group rather than having to apply, select your role, and accept. This is mostly just a nice quality of life change that some people may not be aware of. OmniCD is the next add-on, and this one will display party members' cooldowns next to their party frame. This is super handy to have, especially as a healer or any class that can buff another, such as priests with PI, for example. As you can see when a party member is using their offensive cooldowns and align your PI with that. It can be fully customised to show you whichever cooldowns are most important. For example, healers may find it beneficial to display tank defensives to know when tanks will need extra healing. The next set of add-ons all revolve around collecting, and the first one we're going to take a look at is Can I Mog It? Can I Mog It is a super lightweight add-on that will simply place a marker in the top right corner of the tooltip of any gear piece to indicate whether it's an appearance you have learned to your account or not. It will also display a marker for whether you have learned the appearance of an item from another identical looking item. So if you enjoy transmog collecting, you don't have to spend time unnecessarily farming cosmetics you already have a duplicate of. Handy Notes is an add-on I reference quite a lot on my channel as it's super helpful for marking the location of rares and treasures on your map for you. And Handy Notes has a ton of additional plugins available to show you other important items for things like holiday events and old expansions content. Similarly to Handy Notes, Rare Scanner can also pinpoint rare spawns and treasures on your map for you, but it will also notify you with an alert when a rare or treasure activates, which is a feature that Handy Notes doesn't offer. The alert is useful to have for more efficient farming, but you may want to do some customising in the options menu as the add-on will, by default, alert you of every rare and treasure in your current zone, which can make for an awful lot of alerts. Mount Journal Enhance is another collecting add-on I use that mostly adds more flavour to my mount journal by adding additional filtering options and allowing you to resize the scale of the mount window itself. You can even use a colour filter to only show you mounts in your collection of a specific colour, but it's a little bit hit and miss. Pretty Reps is a very useful add-on that will add a new tab to your reputation pane. Inside the new tab, you can scroll over a given faction and it will show you the highest standing you currently have with them and which character has earned it. This is super useful if you're looking to farm reputations for achievements or for any kind of cosmetic, as you'll know which character to continue farming on, rather than having to start from scratch. Another add-on I use partly for collecting, but mostly for keeping tabs on currencies across my account, is Saved Instances. With the add-on installed, you can type slash SI show to show you A. How many lockouts are available on your account, which is useful to keep track of if you are farming an instance drop repeatedly, as you'll be locked out after hitting 10 lockouts in one hour, and B, it can also show you how much of a given currency every character on your account has, without you needing to log over to them all individually to check. Saved instances can be customised to show you pretty much any currency in the game, so if there's something currency related you're farming for across multiple characters, saved instances could help you out. The last set of add-ons I wanted to highlight all add a nice quality of life to your game without changing too many things. The first and main quality of life add-on I use is Leatrix Plus. This add-on is great for providing lots of automation options such as quest pickup and turn-in, as well as cinematic and dialogue skipping. It's also really handy to have for increasing the zoom distance of your camera, or for faster auto-looting. There are lots of options you can play around with in the settings, which you can access by typing slash LTP with the add-on installed. Next up, 
Tome of Teleportation is an add-on I use to house all of my various teleport options on a given character in one easy to access interface. With the add-on installed, you can type slash T-E-L-E, -E, or I simply made a macro of this to place it on my action bar, and you'll be able to access every Hearthstone, including any Hearthstone toys you have that change the appearance of your Hearthstone animation, as well as expansion teleports you have like the Garrison Hearthstone, Legion Dalaran teleport, Legion Order Hall teleports, dungeon teleports if you've unlocked them, and more. This is super nice to have for finding shortcuts around the world, especially if you have lots of teleporting options and struggle to keep track of them all. I also like to use this to add some flavour anytime I use my Hearthstone, since I enjoy collecting various Hearthstone toys. World Quest List is the next add-on, and what this does is it compiles every world quest in a given zone or continent into a list that can be ordered based on factions they correspond to, the rewards they drop, the time left before they expire, and more. This can be super handy to have, especially early on in an expansion if you're looking to farm easy gear upgrades or reputation, and it can even benefit gold making as you can immediately see how many world quests will offer gold as a reward, and how much gold you will earn in total by completing them all. The final add-on I wanted to highlight is called Minimap Button Bag Reborn, and this is a very quaint little add-on that will compact all of your other add-on icons around your minimap into one tidy and convenient drop-down menu. I love this add-on for simply cleaning up my UI and keeping all of my add-on buttons in one accessible place. So there you have it. You've seen how my UI looks without any add-ons installed, and how it looks once we've integrated my core add-ons into the game. My main piece of advice is to keep the center of your screen as decluttered as possible, while housing your most important information such as rotation and unit frames somewhere central in your UI. The rest is entirely up to you and your playstyle, so be sure to try out different configurations and see what works for you. Remember, you can save different UI formats so you can come back to them later if you want to use different layouts for different characters, for example. As always, if you have your own suggestions for making a more streamlined and effective UI, or if you have any questions about something you've seen in this video, be sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!